Picture in your mind the most beautiful places on earth. Now imagine these global treasures blanketed in trash. These are not scenes from some apocalyptic nightmare or sci-fi movie. This is reality of what will actually happen unless we take action now. We have already had numerous grim glimpses of this very real nightmare from around the world. Waves of garbage washing up onto the shore in the Dominican Republic. Streets left blanketed with trash after flooding in India. Idyllic Pacific Island beaches and underwater scenery marred by plastic debris. Actual continents of plastic forming in the oceans, the largest of which is three times the size of France with an estimated weight equal to 500 jumbo jets. This is one of countless landfills, strewn with largely non-recyclable garbage as far as the eye can see. To manage the waste which lies on the surface already seems an insurmountable task, but there is more that lies beneath, not to mention the trash that is washed out into the oceans by flooding. And the problem is only getting worse. As of 2010, it was estimated that we had accumulated 6.3 trillion kilograms of plastic waste. And of this, 79% remains in landfills and the natural environment, polluting our planet. Every year, 13 million tons of plastic waste ends up in the oceans. It is expected that by the year 2050, a festering mass of 12 billion tons of plastic waste will be polluting our Earth. And the weight of plastic in the oceans will exceed the total weight of fish. Such plastic takes over 450 years to degrade. But then what? Then this toxic pollution is absorbed into the ground and natural waterways. Plastics in the sea gradually break down into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics, which are eaten and absorbed by fish and other sea life. Is entering the food chain. More and more, we are eating plastic. Our hearts have been wrenched by chilling images of turtles, of birds, of whales, of seals, suffering and dying, starving to death, being strangled, because of our plastic pollution. That should be bad enough to drive us into action. But the question we must now ask ourselves is, what will all this plastic pollution do to humans? We already know that toxic fumes from plastic waste rise up to pollute the atmosphere. How will this affect us? Is it going to give us cancer? What will it do to future generations? To our children? Will their growth be stunted? Will life expectancy decrease? Clearly, we must find a solution. But what can we do with all this plastic? In our world today, we see a growing army of people determined to wage war against plastic waste and make a difference. The power of humanity is beautiful and each effort brings a ray of hope. But to truly solve this global problem, we need something drastic, something earth-shaking, something industrial and sustainable, even commercial. In collaboration with prominent researchers from Thailand's prestigious Chulalongkorn University, SEPCO has developed and optimized an innovative and ultra-clean industrial process for converting waste plastic into high-quality synthetic fuel. Enter the Polypetron Gen 5, a waste plastic to fuel production module. At full production, the fifth generation Polypetron has the capacity to produce at least 15,000 liters of oil per day per module, while disposing of 20,000 kilograms of waste plastic. And all this with zero negative environmental impact. Join me in our next episode, where we will be meeting with Dr. Meta Wisetsombat, 
the co-founder of Sepco Industries, and we will get to see up close the evolution of the Polypetron, and most importantly learn how this innovation can help solve the massive global crisis of excessive plastic waste by converting it into energy in the form of fuel.